Hi for you, Anna. Mark Resenthal with you on this Wednesday. We are tracking a major snowstorm coming for southern New England beginning tonight and lasting all day tomorrow. You know, we have so much to talk about, so let's just cut to the chase, shall we? And check out the weather headline. First of all, a major storm is coming. Starts Thursday a.m., probably in dawn or by dawn in Boston, and ends at night, probably by 9, 10 o'clock. It's a done deal, but dangerous cold and wind will follow here on Friday with wind chills of 15 to 25 below zero. Now, here's some of the highlights. Blizzard conditions are possible tomorrow. Coastal flooding at the time of high tide. Northeast winds picking up 35 to 70 miles an hour. There could be power outages. And then again, dangerous wind chills of 20 below on Friday. So some crazy weather. Let's jump ahead. This is going to be the weather map at 8 o'clock on Thursday from the latest European model. And they say there's a pretty big storm developing out over the Gulf Stream and snow's coming into southern New England. The winds are picking up from the north and northeast. Now, 1 o'clock Thursday afternoon, the storm is exploding. Yes, you've heard the, ta the term bombogenesis. That means the pressure's falling quickly in the low center and it's moving steadily, though, to the northeast, throwing heavy bands of snow through eastern and central New England. Now, the big question is, does enough warm air come in to cause the snow to mix with the change to rain over the Cape and the Islands? That's certainly a possibility. But if that does happen and temperatures over the Cape rise into the mid-30s, it could be a flash freeze as the wind shifts more north and the Arctic air just pours back in. As a matter of fact, all of us are going to see temperatures close to zero here by late Thursday night with a howling north wind. So by 8 o'clock Thursday night, there's a 947 millibar low south of Nova Scotia. Notice it's still snowing. All of Maine, east of New Hampshire, eastern and central Massachusetts, including the Cape, including Rhode Island, still coming down with a very strong north and northwest wind, and then it should be OVA. Over. So for today, it's partly sunny, less cold, 26 to 32. Feel like a heat wave overnight, clouding up, cold snow after midnight. It'll be in the 20s. How much snow are we going for? A foot or more from the coast of Maine to New Hampshire, Boston out to 495, Providence, uh, eastern and southeastern Connecticut, down to Long Island, 4 to 8 at least over the Cape. If there's no changeover, they'll get more than that. It's 6 inches plus, north and west of 495. But I think even portions of the Berkshires and New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine could do pretty well. Maybe something a range of 3 to 6 in these locales. I reserve the right to uh, change my mind. All right, here's the five-day forecast starting with tomorrow. Blizzard conditions possible. Windy cold, the 20s, but the mercury falling. Probably 5 or even colder by Friday morning. Friday itself, if it gets above 8, it'll be a maze going below zero at night. The icebox continues on Saturday, only near 12. Increasing clouds on Sunday in the 20s. Could be snow at night. Snow might change to rain on Monday. I'm still working on that for you. So there you go. Of course, we'll be here throughout the day. We'll keep you posted. And for the latest weather forecast, you're driving in your car, turn on Easy 99.1 FM, and you'll hear my forecast there as well. For now, I'm Mark Rosenthal.